The truth is, women will never understand us as men. For many women, their understanding of us as men is sexually, just through our, let's say, knob. For some women, for many women, they believe, they believe that's all we're about. Banging, busting one. They think as men, that is the depth of our character as men. So let's begin with this clip here. No sound, no music in the background. But very telling, isn't it? How romantic. Yes, all the vegetables for the woman meet for us as men, indeed. Of course, how romantic the bath together. Of course, why not? Get her wet, indeed. And of course, the dance, the dance, the drink. Oh, but, you know, it don't get her wet when she doesn't want to be. One second, love, one second, one second. Man business, proper man business, yeah. Stand up peeing. <laughs> oh, women are jealous of that one. Not because we're men. Because we're men. That's why. Because we're flipping men and we drink beer. Yeah. And that's commercial for Amstel beer. Yeah. Well, so I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. This, of course, is Replicant Fish with a wisdom tooth that's causing me problems. So if I sound weird, yeah, my wisdom tooth is flipping swollen up half of my face. So yes, I'm looking somewhat deformed right now. I somewhat look like a battered fish. <laughs> I won't make a joke with that one. Let's begin. So, I know it's a pretty popular opinion that, traditionally speaking, females are complex and difficult to read. Not really, not really. They're about as complex as a graphic novel. Not a full novel, no, come on. While guys are mostly simple and easy to understand. And for the most part, I agree with that. But, every now and then, you ladies might encounter a gentleman who has given off some signals that you're not quite familiar with. And I'm here to help you out with that. Let's get started. And this is a video called Understanding Men by Mr. Suck My Dax. Okay? We'll begin with the most basic of signals. This is what you can expect from 99 guys out of 100. It says, I'm a guy, you're a girl. Let me put my penis in your mouth. Exactly. Moving on to some signals with actual complexity. This look says, I'm a laid back type of person. I like to smile and enjoy life. Chances are, if there's a new comedy out in theaters, I'd like to take you to see it. And then maybe during the credits, I can put my penis in your mouth. Of course, why not? Cinema, nice, quiet, dark place. Very romantic and, and intimate, you know, being a cinema. So yeah, and being a good woman, a very caring, respectful woman, she would, you know, hey, take care of you. Moving on. This is the look of an educated man. It tells you... I'm more likely to enjoy discussing mathematics than actual movies. Hey, here's an interesting equation. Your mouth plus my penis equals a good time. Maths, science, physics. It's beautiful. Learn something, women. Learn something. Ladies, I got to tell you something. I don't know when or how this became an epidemic where a guy must treat a woman so he can get some sex. Well, I mean, it's quite common. You know, women are used to doing that, being treated, being treated nice and then offering up, you know, some vag, basically. It's a common thing. You ladies out there, seriously, y'all want equal rights, y'all want equal protection, but yet, and then want us men to accept the traditional roles of opening doors and equality. Yeah, exactly, exactly, you know. You can't have equality without real equality. It has to be equal. It has to be equal. Both men and women have to, you know, be subject to the same nonsense, basically. Sometimes, straight up, I want a woman to open up the door for me. Well, I, I don't mean that. I don't need a woman to open the door for me. But, you know, yeah, I get what you're saying, though. But, yeah, okay. Straight up. Sometimes, I want a woman to take me out to dinner. Well, yeah, I mean... Okay, I get what you're saying. I mean, the reality is it's not going to happen that often. Some women do take you out for dinner, but you're not as often as men would like. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Straight up. And guess what? I need my hair and my nails done too. Okay, all right. You've gone too far. You've gone too far with the hair and the nails, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. I was with you up until the hair and the nails. That's too far, but I get what you mean though, yeah? I get what you mean. You know, get a haircut. I don't know where you're going with the nails. I can't. I'm trying to think of something else to compare the nails to that's actually... I can't. Let's just, let's carry on. Just like a woman and my beard done. Straight up. Y'all want us to pay for y'all? 
What's up? Can you treat me? Can you? Yeah, woman, can you treat me? Can you treat me, woman? Can you treat me? What have you done for me lately? <laughs> what have you done for me lately? Because I can't remember. You treat a brother? Because I need maintenance too. You see this beard? Shit. Yeah, I'm a high maintenance man. Can you maintain me, woman? I'm a high maintenance man. Low mileage, but high maintenance indeed. Well, uh, I'm not sure about low mileage, but seriously. Yeah, I need work. And that was Equality in Relationships by The Barber. Welcome to the Jessica Alba Show. Five things we don't understand about men. Number one, grenades. grenades. Why do you mess with them? You might have the most prettiest girlfriend ever. Most beautiful girlfriend ever. And I understand you want to hit it and quit it most of the time. I know you don't want like anything serious with these grenades, but it's still like annoying. A grenade is, if I'm correct, a Jersey Shore from the TV show phrase, which means an unattractive, overweight, repulsive, slovenly female. The term grenade was coined by the situation on MTV's infamous show, The Jersey Shore. So when these women are referring to grenades, they're saying that basically, why do men just, just bang through these overweight, unattractive women and then expect anything else sort of thing? Not my sort of thing, but you know. I want to shake my ass too. At the club, I shake my ass. At the club, I shake my ass. Yeah, well, it's not surprising. It's what women do nowadays. It's one of their skills nowadays. Can you shake your ass as a woman? At the club, I shake my ass. No, but you're not skilled. The party. I want to go to the club. I want to dance. To be quite honest with you, I'm not the kind of girl who goes to the club all the time. But I have... Really? Really? I have friends who do. So I'm going to speak for them right now. I mean, why can you do whatever you want to do? You can go out with your boys. You can hit the bars and do God knows what the rest of the night. Then... Because we're men. Because we're men. Simple. Needs no explanation. It's simple. We're men. I need my hair and my nails done too. That's it. Point blank. At the club, I shake my ass. But I will leave you there for now. There's only so much I could do with a swollen face. And if some of you are wondering, no, I haven't got a swollen face because I've been eating cooch. No, no. Replicant fish stopped doing that a long time ago. And yeah, I'd advise you to be careful as well. If you have a woman or not, yeah, just yeah, just watch what you're eating. Yeah, eat healthily. <laughs> Yeah, well, seriously, seriously. In other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.